Thai Smile Airways on our way from Chiang Mai to Phuket. It's like a one hour, 15 minute flight. Uh, we're just going to serve the meal. This is the cabin snack. Not sure what it is, but we'll have a look. Paul. Paul. off. It's like a flatbread. Cheesy. Tomato, like a bit like a pizza, like a calzone. Quite nice, I think Rhonda will like it. What's that weird tray though? Not sure, this is a uh, dessert. But I'll try that after the, the main course. Vegetarian, love it, absolutely love it. So we're on uh, Thai Smile Airways, just flown from from Chiang Mai to Phuket, and we're just coming into land at Phuket Airport. And this is the ocean view from the aircraft as we approach Phuket International Airport. Lots of beautiful little islands out there. You can already see how clear the water is down there. Right? You can see down to the, the coral and stuff, the shoals down below the ocean surface. Just coming in on the final approach into Phuket. Hopefully it's a little bit cooler here than what it has been in Bangkok and Chiang Mai. We're hoping so because it's closer to the ocean. So maybe a couple of degrees cooler at least. Obviously we can't tell yet if it is going to be cooler or not. But anyway, this is the approach into uh, Phuket International Airport. Coming from the north. The inland uh, waterways down there are green and turquoise water. Almost down. Looks like we're coming up to the edge of the airport. And here's the airport property. There's the runway. And we're down. Welcome to Phuket. There we are, the end of another day's journey. We've arrived in Phuket, staying at the uh, Mazi Design Hotel, downtown Patong, and just checked in. It's two or three degrees cooler here than Chiang Mai. You can definitely feel it, which is nice. Have a nice break. So just checking out the hotel, stood near the pool. You can see in the background. It's a nice little boutique hotel and has a uh, pool bar. So right now we, we only have one night here, so we're going to head out and explore uh, Phuket, Patong area. So, uh, way different to Chiang Mai, more modern, look at this. We got Hard Rock Cafe right there, with a happy hour, uh, $4 a pint. 
at four dollars any uh, well drink on happy hour right next door over there you'll see Hooters all right so there's Hooters and then as you pan around we've got a street here it's not busy yet but apparently at night it gets busy this is the uh, Australian uh, bars every bar down here is Australian they play Australian rules football and rugby all the time down here but we found this little bar on the corner uh, just a little street side bar and we just sat there having a quick beer so Hey, so Hi. we've had the whole day walking around Patong Beach in Phuket, Thailand, and we're just coming to the end of the day. The sun's not down yet, close to sunset, but this is uh, Patong Beach, the main beach in the Patong area of Phuket. Pretty busy, very busy in fact. The temperature is absolutely wonderful compared to what we've had in uh, Bangkok and Chiang Mai. It's totally doable, there's a beautiful sea breeze. There's all kinds of uh, water sports happening out there. Sidhu rental, the, uh, uh, parachute towed by the boat. And it's all Aussies. <laughs> and Australia, yeah. We're the only Canadians here and every, everybody here is Australian, which, so for everyone you know, we don't have a problem with that, but. Us? Australia yeah we didn't realize there'd be home. so many Australians you get certain places in the world that are you know all English or German or Canadian but this uh, yeah Phuket is uh, an Australian destination so we met lots of Australians we've had a good laugh today uh, but anyway this is uh, Patong Beach in Phuket and the Sun is gonna go down pretty quickly here but we're not going to stay for the sunset. We're going to walk inland now and have an explore. So, at the center of Patong Beach in Phuket is Bangla Road. This is Bangla Road. It's about six o'clock. This place doesn't light up until about 10 at night, but you can tell by the name of some of the establishments, like Titty Twister. You know, this can be a happening place later on, right? And apparently it is. We're coming uh, this time of night because we're not going to be around at 10 o'clock at night, but we just need to come and see what it's all about here. So we're just going to do a quick tour of uh, Bangalore. Road. No, I like mine. Mine. So we just stopped uh, halfway down Bangalore Road. Just have a beer and just to watch how things happen. Uh, we've been sat here, we've got a couple of cocktails, it's happy hour which is a good deal, half price, this time of night. And like we said, it's not started up yet. It's gonna be another four hours before it gets going really, but over here, this guy in the pink shirt here, he's been at our table twice trying to sell us a, sell us a ping pong show. And that is not table tennis that he's trying to sell us. And there's all kinds of vendors just keep coming up to the table. Like, yeah, so vendors keep coming up to the table and trying to sell stuff. Like, literally every 60 seconds, there's a different vendor gonna sell something. Like, she's gonna sell us a fan. No, you're not. No, thank you. But you just say no, thank you, and they walk on. We have been uh, dubbed by the uh, sunglasses people and we've actually bought six pairs already and we've gone down substantially in price because now we know really how to negotiate. Here's some more bracelets come in. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. Uh, Rhonda, is it just non-stop vendors? non-stop yeah but it's cool though and i haven't bought anything yet glenn gets sucked in he keeps laughing and gambling no glenn is doing really good at bartering now oh no Go you're on. definitely bartering yeah, yeah. you're no, winning sure. at the bartering you're i'm winning. good yeah anyway so this is bangla road at seven o'clock at night it's a happening place
We'll grab a taxi to walk back because it's, it's got pretty hot. It's got pretty hot as we have been uh, sat eating. Uh, we've got to check out the hotel in an hour, so we decided to we better get a tuk-tuk. Which is what they call the easy call they're not tuk-tuks. It's a cool way to travel here, Andy. Yeah. You know, whizzing through the streets and back along. Yeah, this is a fun way to travel. They call them tuk-tuks, they're little vans, little pickups with a a cab in the back that you sit in, but open air, so it's nice and breezy back here. Uh, the light is not very good when I turn the camera. Oh, there, there you go. Yeah, that's the view out of the uh, back door. <coughs> Shouldn't take long to get back to the hotel. The thing we found about Patong is extremely touristy. I know we expected it, but way more touristy than we thought. And the uh, the vendors, the tuk-tuks, the massage parlors, everywhere you walk, every 30 seconds, you're literally being grabbed by people wanting to sell you something, or offer you a service, or get you into their restaurant, or oops, give you a massage, or yeah, you know, fortune tellers, have a tattoo, like, Everything you're offered as you're walking around, it gets actually it gets tiresome because you get you know sick of saying no because you, you don't want everything, right? We've basically done all our shopping and uh, we're ready to actually leave the hotel now. We're moving on to Phuket Town next, Old Town, which should be a lot more culture down there. We're thinking. The thing about Patong is, yeah. I would say there's no culture here <laughs> whatsoever. But it was interesting, I'm glad we've been. It was cool. <laughs> we decided we needed a swim before we get the uh, hit the long dusty road to the other side I'm of the Island. Zone now. <laughs> Rhonda's happy, she's in the pool. She's the water baby. It's a nice little pool here. This is the Mazzy Design Hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's nice. It was only uh, 920 baht a night, uh, about $37 a night, so it's a good deal. It was very nice, very modern. Run away. Ah! <laughs> Isn't that nice? My happy zone in a swimming pool. Oh, and the temperature of this pool, this pool Beautiful. is exactly the way you'd want it. Not too cold, not warm at all, but just enough to chill you down. Because walking around this heat, man, it gets you day after day after day. Mm -hmm. This is actually the first pool we've been in, even though, even though we've had... We did have a pool in Bangkok. We, we had a pool at every hotel. Yeah, but we were so busy in Bangkok, we didn't use it. But hey, we're enjoying this one just before we head off to uh, Phuket Town. Okay. Watch, watch this. Dickhead. <laughs> oh, Rhonda, you're on video. You can't call me that. <laughs> You scared me! I was floating! <laughs>